Welcome to Camp C. Clergy today, 24th September. Our Minister Jane Dennison is on holiday and it's my pleasure to be with you today. Personent Hodier is a lively tune which accompanies the words of a hymn by Percy Dreamer. Not a suitable hymn for those planning to return to church during this pandemic. The words of the chorus are, sing aloud, loud, loud. Sorry, no singing aloud in church buildings. But the theme of God is love is very pertinent for our passage today. John is focusing on certain ideas that are never far from his mind. Love. For John, love is the basis of everything. Let us hear the passage now. John 14, 23 to 24 from the NIV. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. Amen. Thanks be to God for this reading from his holy word. In this short passage, we can recognise several themes that were important to John. Firstly, and most importantly, there is love. For John, love is the basis of everything. God loves Jesus. Jesus loves God. God loves us, the human race. And Jesus loves us. We love each other. And so we have this chain of love heaven and earth, man and God, and all of us are bound together in this bond of love. At the start of Twelfth Night, Shakespeare famously said, If music be the food of love, play on. Many songs certainly celebrate this. Love is a many splendoured thing. As children we sang, Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Perhaps it became over familiar and seemed simplistic. Yet there's a story about Karl Barth, a well-known the theologian. After his lecture, a student asked Barth if he could summarise his whole life's work in theology in a sentence. Barth allegedly said, yes, I can. In the words of a song I learned at my mother's knee, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Secondly, John stresses the necessity of obedience. Another hymn illustrates this, Trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. To Jesus, obedience is the proof of love. John in his gospel shows that it's only to those who truly love Jesus that he appeared. Remember the scene in the garden where a weeping Mary thinks that Jesus is the gardener. I love the scene in the Oberammergau Passion Play. It is very dramatic. And even if you do not speak German, this is a part that you can understand. Mary, Rabboni, it is very moving. It seems rather ironic that a play commemorating defeating a pandemic is cancelled by a pandemic. The vill villagers of Oberammergau took a vow in 1634 that they would perform the Passion Play every 10 years if there were no more cases of the plague, the Black Death. Instead of 2020, they now hope to perform it in 2022, and I hope to be there. Jesus did not appear to the Romans, Pharisees or Sadducees or the hostile Jews. He was not trying to make a point or convince those doubters. He came to his own, to those who loved him. Finally, this obedient, trusting love leads to a fuller and deeper revelation as our love for Jesus grows, he reveals himself more fully to us. Graham Kendrick's hymn captures this. 
knowing you, Jesus, knowing you, there is no greater thing. You're my all, you're the best, you're my joy, my righteousness, and I love you, Lord. Sin can separate us from God. However, if we look for God despite our failures, as we look up, it's as if he lovingly looks down. The more we obey God, the more we understand God. I come to the garden alone, while the dew is still on the roses, and the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. Let us join our hearts in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you love us despite our feelings. You know us through and through. Help us to fix our eyes on you and help us to love you more dearly, love you more nearly, day by day. Amen.